Hey, how is everyone? Good to see you guys. This is for our Dragons class today. Hope you guys are excited to learn. We're going to be working on Pinan Shodan as well as doing your self-defense today. Again, this is for the Dragons class, for all the solid green belts out there, no matter your stripes. These are things that you can work on from home today. All right, we'll get started with the Pinan Shodan. All right, so when you start your kata, start our attention, announce it, Pinan Shodan, and ready. Wow. Step out into a yoi, ready position. From here, remember, we're going to use two hands on all our techniques. We're going to look to the side first and low block. So I look, two hands and low block, one. From there, I'll step forward in a forward stance and pop. I look over my shoulder. I can wind up my arms. I'm going to spin and low block opposite direction, one. After that, remember, work on your hammer. Bring it back around your head. Hammer down. After that, step forward and punch through. I look to the front. Again, using two hands, I low block to the front, one. From there, I pop it up, touching my shoulder, using the bottom part of my fist uh, on my shoulder. One more time. And if you're in the class, you know I like to say kablam. So kablam! From there, I upper block two. And then I'll finish with my three, four, and ki'ai. Right. I'll look over my shoulder, spin and low block, just like Taikyoku showed on. So I look, low block one. From there, I'll step and punch two. Looking over the shoulder, continue the pattern, low block one, step in, punch two. I look to the back, same thing, low block one, punch two, three, four, and key up. This part may be new for some of you, so I'll go a little bit slower. At the end of the cup, you're gonna do the chops. So my left hand will come to my ear, both hands open. I'll spin over my left shoulder, so I look first, spinning that away, stretching for my chop. I step into a back stance, and I chop. Try to have your right hand right on your belly button, not at your hip, but rather in the middle. I'll take my hand that's at my stomach, that one will go to my ear. My left hand will extend out to the corner. I'll step that way and chop too. Again, the hand's on the belly button. My right hand, the one that's forward, is going to come to my ear next. My left hand will come out. I look over my shoulder, chop to the side. Three. And then from there, remember, the lead hand's going to go straight. The hand at your stomach will come to your ear. So I stretch my chop and then chop to the final angle. Four. I look to the front, finish with my oil or my ready position, and then you can do your bow. That's our peanut showdown for our solid green belt. So hopefully that helps. That's something you could definitely work at home to make sure you have enough room. Make sure you don't ki too loud indoors, okay? Actually, you can absolutely have mom or dad watch the video with you, and they could definitely help you do the kata right. Uh, we'll finish uh, today's green belt class with our self-defense practice. Remember our self-defense techniques on our, our, our uh, shoulder grab techniques, okay? So I'll demonstrate them without a partner first. Our first one will be from a front shoulder grab. Remember, you're gonna reach, you're gonna grab your partner's arm. You'll step on a little bit of an angle, delivering a palm heel strike to the face. From there, use that same hand that went on the inside. You can grab your partner's shoulder and use your right leg, your rear leg and knee, okay? So without a part, it looks like this. And that's definitely something you can practice. Now, if you have someone at home that's willing to help, a family member, mom, dad, brother, sister, uh, that would be more than okay. I have my good friend, Miss Ambrosio here. So she's here to help today. She's gonna grab me in that double shoulder grab. Remember, I'm gonna reach, I'm gonna grab my partner's forearm. From there, I'm gonna strike up the center to my partner's face. That could go to the nose or the chin. After that, I use that hand. I grab the same side of her body and I lift my knee. <laughs> Remember, try to keep your posture. Don't try to come up when you knee, but keep your legs bent, keep your knee bent. That way you're delivering a good strike. I'll switch sides just so you can see a little bit better. Again, I grab my partner's arm, forearm. From there, I'm using the hand up the middle. I strike up the center. Notice my stance. I'll then grab my partner's shoulder and I'll knee. <laughs> Definitely something you can work on at home. From there, we'll go to our rear shoulder grab. This one's gonna be a little bit different. Uh, we guys have all done this before, so nice and easy. I'm gonna use my right leg. I'm gonna look behind me. I'm gonna stall my partner's knee. Then I'm gonna go into a horse stance. When I go into my horse, I'm gonna be next to them. I use my right arm, my elbow. And from there, I use that same arm and I strike low. It could be a chop or a fist hammer. Either one is okay. One more time. My partner's gonna grab your shoulder grab. I look first, always maintaining that. I use my stomp kick. Step into a horse, elbow, and then strike low in some capacity. 
I believe Mr. Coast is going to be my partner on this one. So check it out. She's going to grab me in that rear shoulder grab. I look first. I stomp her knee, and then I step, stand next to her in a horse. I elbow to the solar plexus, and then I'll strike low. Watch it one more time. I look, stomp, elbow, hit, and hit low. Hit. Definitely something to work on at home. And finally, our final technique is going to be our rear collar grab. For this one, I'm going to turn around just so you can see a little bit better. My partner is going to be grabbing my collar as if they're trying to pull me backwards. So I look over my shoulder, I spin, and I make a good forward stance that way I can maintain good balance when they're pulling. I'll then, just as before, I grab my partner's forearm, deliver a palm heel strike, lift my knee. Turn, forward stance, palm heel strike, and knee. So, for our last one, watch myself in Miss Ambrosio. She's gonna grab me in that rear grab. I'm gonna look and I'm gonna turn and strike right to the face. Notice I'm still grabbing onto my partner, always maintaining control. I'll then grab her shoulder and I'll lift the knee. Watch one more time from this angle. Look, strike, grab, knee. Make sure in that stance as you turn. So one more time, I'll do it facing you guys just so I mean, you can see a little bit better. Look, stance and strike, grab, me. Oh, oh. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, hope you guys uh, continue your practice at home. Hope this gets you feeling good and uh, maintains your progress. Have a great Friday. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you guys.